Today I'm going to be reviewing the Elegoo plastic resin tank for your SLA printer. Stick around. What is up guys? Hope you're having a great day today. Today I'm going to be reviewing the plastic resin tank for your SLA printer by Elegoo. So like most hobbies, you're going to have some sort of consumables at the end of the day, be it paints or plastic or resin or filament or whatever it is. Most of the time, a lot of hobbies have some sort of consumable that you're gonna have to deal with. And it's no different for SLA printing. For SLA printing, one of the consumables that you're gonna have to deal with is the FEP sheet, which is at the base of your resin tank. And that's gonna to have to change depending on the amount of times you print, how gentle you are while you are cleaning the FEP after a failed print or just in general. So when you have to change that FEP, what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to take the existing tank that came with your printer, empty the resin, and then undo the screws at the base of the tank, put your new FEP sheet in and screw it back on. And that in itself, is a process. Now, for some people, it's easy. They could easily change that out in 10 minutes. And for newbies, it may take up to an hour to get that changed. So with the advent of the plastic resin tank, that actually goes away. What you use is a disposable resin tank that already comes with the FEP sheet built in. That way you don't need to change the FEP sheet and then you could just go ahead and swap your tank as you need. Now, one of the hot topics about these disposable plastic resin tanks is around the environment. And we have the pros and the cons when it comes to the environment. And I could tell you, while doing research for this review, the amount of threads that I saw on Facebook and people were so strong about the environment that I think that deserves in itself some discussion. Now, I'm not going to go into full detail into the environmental part of having a disposable tank or not. I actually think that you're gonna have both sides of the camp with really good points. So this review is going to be purely technical with maybe a little discussion around the environmental aspect of it. So keep that in mind as you continue watching this review. So let's talk a little bit about the current situation. When you buy your printer, you get one tank with it. Now, if you wanna change resins or you wanna go from one color to the next, you're gonna to have to empty all of that resin, clean your tank, and then utilize the other resin in your tank. And that could be a time waster, especially if you have a production environment. So what might be good is if you have multiple tanks and there are a number of tanks that are available online on Amazon, but those tanks are very expensive. And it's predominantly because it's the metal ones that actually came with your printer. So having a metal tank actually does have a benefit and that is you can keep reusing it over and over and over and all you need to do is change the FEP sheet. Now, from an environmental perspective, that's much better because all you are contributing to the environment is the FEP sheet that has failed. Whereas with a disposable tank, every time you change, you're gonna be changing both the tank and the FEP sheet, which contributes to more environmental waste. So let's talk a little bit about the plastic resin tanks. They actually come packaged in a pack of four and these are packed very well. It's packaged with two pieces of sponge on either side that actually protect the tanks while they're being shipped. There are four of them that are packed in the box. So what are some of the benefits of having a disposable resin tank? So first of all, you have zero downtime. If you need to change resin, you just utilize another tank and then you're good to go. It literally takes seconds to go from one color to the next. Another is the price. These tanks are really, really cheap. And when you actually work the cost down, it actually works out to something like $7.50 US for one tank. Whereas online, you're gonna be paying upwards of 60 US for one metal tank. So cost is a big factor. Another good benefit is 
If you have four tanks, you can have four colors, which allows you to be able to print in four separate colors. So you can do multicolor printing with these four separate tanks. I went ahead and did a calculation to determine how much volume of resin each of these tanks hold. And one of the tanks actually hold about 450 milliliters of resin. So that's nearly the equivalent of a full bottle of the 500 milliliter bottles in one particular tank. If you plan to use just one tank, you'll get nearly all of it in there. The stock tank actually holds less than this. I think it's about 350 milliliters. So this will actually allow you to put more resin in your tank and leave it for a lot longer before actually having to refill. These tanks actually come with a really nice cover. If you take a look at it, you can see the cover here and it goes on really easily. Now keep in mind that this will prevent any small shakes, but I believe if you were to bend it, the resin would come out the side. So it's really not designed to transport, but really to keep the resin intact and out of UV light while it's being stored. At the base where the FEP is, there's a protective sheet that you can see here. This protective sheet needs to be removed before you start printing. Another thing I really like is these vats come with graduations on the side and this gives you a gauge of how much resin has been used in the tank. And if you look at my last tips video, which you will find here, I mentioned that you can actually print a resin gauge that gives you this measurement. So if you have this vat, you will not need a resin gauge as it's already etched on the side of each of these vats. So these tanks are injection molded and the FEP already comes pre-tensioned, ready to go from the factory. You just pour your resin and you put it in and you're good to go. So one of the disadvantages of these disposable vats is when it's finished, you're going to have to dispose of the vats. And I couldn't find anywhere on this particular vat that says how it needs to be recycled. And most recycling centers, if they can't find the stamp that says how it needs to be recycled, it gets tossed in the trash. And that is not good. So let's talk a little bit about how this tank is built. The tank is made of injection molded plastic and there are some ribs on the inside that actually give it its stability. Now, one of the design changes that I would like to see in the future is these ribs here actually allow resin to settle and you lose a little bit of resin as it gets lower and lower in the vat. So that's one design change I'd like to see in a future product. There are tabs that the screw actually holds onto the vat while it's in the printer and these are pretty solid. They don't feel hollow at all and I can see that when you tighten this tank down on the printer, it'll be held very, very well. There are some screws around the base of the tank and these screws, I don't believe they actually tension the FEP. Online, one of the guys, Jason, actually removed all of the screws and the FEP was still fused around with plastic, which is telling me that the screws here are just holding the tensioned FEP in the frame. When I filled this up earlier with water, I saw some bubbles forming around the inside and I am assuming that's where the water starts going in between the FEP and the way it's sealed. So just keep that in mind. You don't want to fill these with water before you actually use them because you may get some water in between the FEP and the seal and when you pour your resin, it's going to have a little bit of water in it. These vats also come pre-tensioned. So if you listen carefully, you can actually hear it's tensioned just like a drum. One thing I'd also like to add is if you are using these and you have an FDM printer, consider printing a cover for the base of the resin tank when you're not using them because when you rest this down, it can easily get scratched at the base. So keep that in mind. If you do have an FDM printer, you'd like to print some of those protective covers at the base before you actually get your resin tanks. The cover that comes with these tanks actually fit the existing tank that came with your printer. So if you don't have a cover or you haven't FDM printed one, 
you can use these to cover those tanks when you do a swap out for one of these tanks. I received these tanks from Elego as a test just to check them out while they were in production. So these tanks are actually going to be available at the end of September 2019 into October 2019 and a box of four will be around $29.99 US dollars which works out to about $7.50 US per tank. One of the things I didn't like about these tanks was that they had no pore spout at the edge of the tank that you would get with your typical tank that came with your printer. So the tank that came with your printer has a pore spout so you can actually pour the resin out into your bottle with a little spout. These didn't come with them and I am suspecting because they're disposable Elego is expecting you to use one color and when that color is finished or when the FEP needs changing, you dispose of these and you switch to another tank. So who are the end users for these vats? Well, it's made by Elego and on the box it says plastic resin tank for the Elego Mars. But guess what? It fits the Anycubic Photon, it fits the Epax X1, but it does not fit the Orange 10. Just keep that in mind. So should you get these tanks? Well, it really depends on you. A lot of persons feel very strongly about disposable tanks. They don't like the fact that you're gonna have pieces of these tanks ending up in a landfill somewhere because there are no recycling marks on them. So if you are into the environment and you feel very strongly about this, then this may not be for you. What you may want to do is order a pair of metal tanks that is also available online and those can be reused over and over. I can tell you, if I hadn't received these, I would be getting a set of these. They're so convenient and it's easy to keep your resin stacked away nicely for when you decide to change your color or change the type of resin that you're actually using. So there you have it guys. My review of the Elego plastic resin tank for your SLA printer. Please let me know what you think about them in the comments. Please let me know if you'll be getting them. If you like this video, please hit like and please consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when I have new videos out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good one and happy printing.